Let me read something from uh, Thomas Lockley again about Hideyoshi. An episode from a decade later may also give a clue to Villanano's feelings toward the situation he found himself in when Nobunaga expressed interest in Yasuke. Nobunaga's successor, Hideyoshi, had been mostly generous with the Jesuits, partly because he hoped for their help with obtaining two Portuguese warships. One day he paid them a visit, a singular honor, and on the huge galley that the Jesuits had built to defend Nagasaki and to transport themselves in style around the country, Hideyoshi expressed great interest in the galley, an implication being that he wanted one for himself, but the Jesuits declined to simply give it to him and foolishly tried to bargain some extra land for it. Hideyoshi did not react with an outward rage. He appeared to simply forget about the galley. However, mere days later, he banned the Jesuits from propagating and forbade lords to force their vassals to convert, naming Christianity a great evil for Japan. This was the first step on the path to eventual Jesuit expulsion and wider Catholic persecution. End. So, Hideyoshi eventually turned up on the Jesuits and the Catholics all in Japan. Around this time, there's around 300,000 Christians in Japan. I think around today, it's one to 2%. Why is that? That is because of Hideyoshi Toyotomi. There's something called the 26 Martyrs of Japan. Basically, he ended Christianity in Japan and he crucified and martyred all the Jesuits around and forbade Christianity. Now, he didn't just go on a white people killing spree, no. He was aiming at the Catholics and the priests. Why is this? Just because he was against Christianity, he didn't like Jesus? No. Possibly, did Yasuke have a sp uh, talk with him about those Jesuits and just exactly what they are doing? Remember, the Japanese were being slave traded at this time as well by the Portuguese, by the Jesuits. So that doubly pissed Hideyoshi off. Instead of sitting around crying, being scared about these Jesuits who have multiple large ships with cannons all over them that he doesn't have, he went down there and handled that business. He ended all that mess, all their power base in Japan, everything. He crushed it. He crushed it. He was not playing around. He did not have, we, that's the reason Japan doesn't have this problem today that black people all over the world have. Somebody does something wrong to us and we say, oh, let's forgive them, forgive them, forgive them, forgive them, forgive them. I'm about forgiveness, but I'm about Ubuntu first. See, when you think it's a game and you keep playing me and playing me and playing me like I'm some type of joke, no, 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 no. And that's the lesson that we got to take from all of this. We don't need to culture vulture anybody. There's enough culture vultures against our own culture. But we should take, take the positive of everyone's culture where we see fit and blend that into our own. Yes, the Japanese were in fighting and it was a lot of barbaric behavior, but everybody wanted to do one thing, one plan. They wanted to unify Japan. It's just who was going to be the leader, but Everybody, after uh, Nobunaga died and his son died, Hideyoshi still stuck with the plan to unify Japan. They had a plan. See, we don't have a plan. And we lost our honor system. And we need to get back to that. And a lot of people's heads might have to get chopped clean off. Don't ever let them talk about our ancestors and say that we were mindless beasts. Our ancestor Yasuke, he could have ran away like a coward. He did what his lord asked him to do. He took his head to his son, and then he defended his son. He defended his life. Most of us, we don't got nothing to, to give our lives for. We've got unworthy leaders all around us. Our chief and kings are some of the worst people. People in our churches are some of the worst people. We have unhonorable men everywhere. But when you have honorable men who are for a plan and take care of their people, the people will willingly die for you. That's something we got to get to. And we are going to get to. Remember our ancestors. Remember our allies like Toyotomi Hideyoshi. 
and remember our ancestor Yasuke, who gave his life for an honorable lord, who was ready to give his life at the drop of a hat for his lord.